People who have had COVID-19 can get long COVID, even if they had no symptoms or only mild symptoms during the infection. You're more likely to get long COVID if you had to go to the hospital because of COVID-19. If you did not get the COVID vaccine, if you have a disability, or if you have a long-term health condition. Hello, everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Vanessa Paloma Bajarnik. Here's a quick look at the top trending international news stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Police in Germany are still investigating a mass shooting in Hamburg that killed six people, including an unborn baby. The shooting took place at a Jehovah's Witness Center on Thursday. Authorities believe a lone gunman, a 35-year-old German national, opened fire after a religious service at the center. Then shot and killed himself as police were storming into the building. Investigators say the man left the Jehovah's Witness community 18 months ago and not on good terms. Authorities say they still don't know why the gunman went on a shooting rampage. There is no indication of a political motive or a terrorist background. They say it's possible he suffered from mental illness. A 5.4 magnitude earthquake has hit Northeast Colombia. Residents in the capital, Bogota, evacuated their homes after the tremor. The quake hit in the middle of the night, so many people ran into the streets in their pajamas. According to the United States Geological Survey, the epicenter was located about 31 kilometers north of Bucaramanga in Santander. The Colombian Geological Service recorded the tremor with a magnitude of 5.9 in the municipality of Los Santos and a depth of 151 kilometers. The Telluric movement was felt in various parts of the country, including the cities of Bogota, Medellin, and Manizales. Authorities in Mexico have arrested five additional suspects in connection to the kidnappings of four Americans in Matamoros. That brings the total number of arrests to six. Four Americans were attacked and kidnapped last week. Police believe the crime was carried out by a Mexican cartel which mistook the Americans for drug smugglers. The Gulf Cartel issued a letter apologizing for the incident. Which left two of the victims dead and one shot in the leg three times.
the letter is believed to be authentic. Even before the letter was issued, the cartel said it would hand over to authorities five of its members who were involved in the kidnappings and murders. It has not yet been confirmed that the men shown here in this picture include the ones referenced in the letter. Ukrainian drone hunters are scanning the sky day and night to spot and shoot down Russian missiles. One Ukrainian soldier said the trajectory of the missiles are constantly changing, so the stationary defenses were not working. So they created the mobile drone hunters. They drive around with machine guns loaded onto an armored vehicle looking for missiles and drones. Every drone taken down means lives saved in Ukraine. The Ukrainian military says on Wednesday night, over 90 missiles and 80 Shahid drones were detected. Of those 90, more than 30 missiles and four Shahids were intercepted. Leaders in the UK and France promised renewed cooperation to combat illegal Im immigration across the English Channel. The British government announced 541 euros or $576 million will be given over the next three years to help stop small boat crossings from France. The UK also promised new, highly trained, permanent French mobile police units, as well as surveillance technology. Every year, tens of thousands of migrants gather in northern France and try to reach the UK by boat. According to official UK records, more than 45,000 people arrived in Britain by boat last year. In a statement honoring International Women's Day on Wednesday, the Irish government announced its intention to hold a referendum on gender equality in November. The referendum will remove a constitutional reference to a woman's place being in the home. The referendum will also consider an article which gives special protection, specifically, to the marital family. Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar says he hopes the referendum will help enshrine gender equality.
the Irish National Women's Council says the referendum would bring significant change if passed. The children of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, were never granted formal royal titles when they were born. But when Archie and Lilibet's grandfather, King Charles, became the monarch, they automatically became prince and princess. That change is now on the official Royal Family website. A spokesperson for the Sussexes told CNN the children's titles have been a birthright since their grandfather became monarch. That means King Charles gave his approval for his grandchildren to use the royal titles. If he had objected, he would have to change the law to stop them from using it. Sign One News will be broadcasting international news updates every Sunday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. You can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.